Hello, beautiful Pisces, and to be more precise, hello, beautiful feminine Pisces. Yes, I've started to do um, for the different um, energies, masculine energy and feminine energy. So today you should be seeing both videos. You can watch both. There's there's no <laughs> there's no guard at the door, so it doesn't really matter. But this is going to be for people who relate more to the feminine Pisces energy. That would include myself and I've done this especially for my gentleman viewers who have come in and and um, some who have come over time asking why isn't there like a specific reading for just them so I decided why not let's make a reading for just them I did combined last week but this week I decided right at the last minute as I was doing it that I was going to make two individual videos so there you go so, um, like I said, both accessible to you. So I've picked some different decks. Um, this one, um, these decks, both of these were used for the masculine um, video, but this one is not. This is the Neoteric Feminine Tarot. So, yeah. Having kept that in mind, I think I'm going to start looking for masculine decks for my gentlemen, for my gentlemen or people identifying with the masculine energy because at one point I would have probably had a lot more masculine energy in me, especially when I was working and uh, taking care of everything. You know, I, I was really as... <laughs> um, I don't know. I had a lot of I had a lot of masculine energy running through me. I would have said that uh, I was pretty 50-50 at one point. So, you know. All right. So for the feminine energy, we have the Justice card coming in, the Three of Wands, very nice, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so the energy this week is a lot better than it was last week. It's a lot better than it's been for many, many, many weeks. Okay, what I'm feeling here is a great sense of just balancing things out, getting things back to where they were before. Okay, even to the point that, yeah, these platform shoes are helping her have the height she needs to sit in the chair that she's sitting in. All of this energy is going to help propel you forward to take those first steps going um, in that direction, in the direction that you've really wanted to. It's going to bring some harmony. I see harmony on both sides of here. Okay, Very harmonious, peaceful, nice feeling coming in with this um, for the, the Pisces Feminine. I like that. Yeah. It feels great. It feels, I don't know, it feels so much better than it was last couple of weeks. I have to tell you. I have to tell you. I'm glad that the end of March is shaping up to be a lot better. Now, I know now that we're moving into Aries season, so we are um, ending Pisces season. Yeah, that's what I was talking. It's it's a fruitful energy, okay? So this is good for you. This is good for your soul, this movement. You know what? I felt a lot of movement in and there's the 10 of pentacles. I mean, you can't you can't really do better than that. Um this is like your personal energy feeling balance and this is like being able to share it with others. You're passing that energy on to others, and they're feeling that balance, in essence. It's like sharing the abundance, right? It's like, I got some apples, so everybody gets apples. So that's the kind of energy I'm feeling with this. It's a sharing of beautiful, balanced energy. So as a feminine, you're going to feel very much like you're sharing of yourself, you're supporting of yourself, and I do think that if you see my all signs video, uh, Pisces, you're going to see that um, there's a lot of that happening as well. There's like one party kind of supporting the other. There's a lot of um, partnerships and um, it's, 
I feel like they're, they're saying like an adhesion, a glue that's happening now um, with the energies. It's perfect because it's much better when we're in partnership and things are moving in the right direction rather than just getting stuck and, and really sticky in situations that we, we feel we can't get ourselves out of. So yeah, it's perfect. I like it. Let's keep it that way. Okay, so Page of Cups in reverse. Let's pull another one for this. I do believe I know what it is. I just, yeah, I want to make, yeah. It's the... In this case, for the feminine energy, the Page of Cups was the dreamer stuck, okay? It's like the dreamer stuck in reverse. See that? And I feel that that is going away. That's done. That is done. Um, I saw something very similar in the masculine um, reading. I saw like the Ten of Wands and it felt like, yeah, there's a bit of burdens, but the masculine is shouldering it with ease. I feel that even though he's got a great big load to carry, he's good. And with the feminine, I feel the same thing here. I feel that kind of energy. I feel that the... Um, I feel that the time of being stuck, especially in the feminine, in the dreamer-like escapism of sometime the Page of Cups, right? Um, the young dreamer, the one who's, you know, a little bit thinking that, you know, pigs fly. Um, but, you know, in essence, not really happening. Um, this energy had you stuck. It had you really in a space of not feeling like you could work and go in that direction, but it's changing now. That's changing. Mm. Yeah, there's been a breakthrough of some sort with the Ace of Swords. Do you see that? I, I feel that. I feel like you saw something and something came through and it just kind of open up your eyes, okay? Um, it, it helped you make the decision that you needed. It's something that cleared up either intellectually, either a fresh perspective, a realization of some sort. Um, but you saw the truth in something and it's like, oh, I see. And the truth was, is I feel that there's a little bit of self-sabotage here for my Pisces Feminine, but that is done. You've equalized it. There's there's perfect balance on both sides of this. But it may have been this long period of feeling, oh, you know. Or even the confusion of the Pisces Moon. Mm -hmm. That could also be have played a part in it, right? Right, so there you go. Again, the Wheel of Fortune is turning, so this is showing movement. Um, the one thing that I have to say that you have in common with both uh, the masculine and the, the feminine reading, and the reason I could say it's because I did the masculine first, is that there is movement coming in both of your readings. So in other words, things are starting to move forward. There's definitely action coming in. So there's masculine energy coming into your feminine reading. Okay, in other words, action. And it's not that feminine is in action. It's more like um, masculine is giving, feminine is receiving. So you are now in a process of giving, which is obvious with the 10. Okay, you've received, now you are giving. All right, so mm, I love this. Look at this mountain, okay? Gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel. Yeah, and I feel like that's what they're saying. Saying this is this is gonna be. Um, it's not gonna be a short path. It's not gonna be like you know two seconds and you're done. But you're definitely seeing the top of it. You know where you're going. 
you know what you are looking at. If, if your idea is to conquer the mountain, well, well done, you already have because you're at the mountain. So all you have to do is just put your feet, what is it, place, gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel. That's it. It's the three of wands here. You were meant to do this. You were meant to travel it. Just go ahead and do it. Okay? Start doing it. Start going in that direction. Make peace with the wildness within you and all Mother Earth's creation. This is nice. The wildness. Yeah. I feel again, it's like the stuck, the stuck Page of Cups right here. Okay. Because the Page of Cups is like, you know, pigs fly, unicorns. You know what I mean, right? So this, this is what I'm sensing or feeling is that you're feeling movement in those dreams and that kind of energy again, which is fabulous. It's, a, it's good. That's what you need. That's exactly what you need right now. You need to be moving. You need to fall back into that energy and be very, um, be very forward, like moving forward in a, that positive, blissful, also active energy. I know I keep bringing that up, but that is what this is. It's like uh, embracing your magic and following through. Yeah. Embrace your personal magic and follow through. All right. So uh, I'll do what I asked, what I did with uh, the gentleman. Is there anything else that you would suggest that the beautiful feminine energy was to do. Yeah, to embrace, see, the emperor. That's what I'm saying. Your feminine this week is embracing this, the authority of the masculine. And, and um, if you're not the one um, actually taking that masculine energy to do something with it, uh, make sure you're the one offering it for somebody else to do it, if that makes any sense, you know? Be the be the force that helps the masculine. It's like give the answers that the masculine can put into motion, which is wonderful as well. So it can be you who takes that masculine energy and moves it forward, or you can hand it off to a masculine energy and let them move it forward. Um, either or, it's all very, very good. <laughs> So that's it for me, and that's your reading for this week, my beautiful Pisces feminine energy. And uh, yeah, when I get my Worthing great better, it'll be even better. But for now, hey, we're at the beginning of this, so, you know, live and learn. And I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and you are definitely blessed. And um, yeah, please let me know what you think of this. Was there anything else that you'd like me to explore for the feminine? I would love to hear from you in the comment sections because this is a space for the Pisces feminine, okay? And I'm going to keep it sacred. Now, everybody who comes in here, keep it nice and respectful. I remind you of that, okay? Because I know right now in the world we're playing a lot with these definitions, but this is energetic. This is what you embody, okay? It has nothing to do with your body. It's what the energy you embody. All right, I'm sending you, um, I was going to say love, light, and, and blessings, but I've already done that. It doesn't hurt to send it again, especially for my feminine um, Pisces uh, energy. So there you go. Take good care of yourself, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.